part. So the question is after round trip uh, and they have given us the TVD and the mud density and they say that uh, after round trip and they started circulation after an hour of circulation there was an increase in return and well is shut and the drill pipe pressure reads zero and casing reads 300 calculate kill mud density and there are four different options so we need to understand that what happens what happens that uh, suddenly when started circulation after one hour there was a kick so let us dive into the question okay now the very first tip in this question is what do you mean by round trip what is round trip round trip means you pull out, you change your BHA orbit, and then run back to bottom. This is round trip. So let's see. Now here's an example. Formation pressure, before you pull out, formation pressure is 5600 PSI. Now, when I pull out all the way to surface, let's say during pull out, there was a swapped kick of 100 feet. So this swap kick is 100 feet. So due to this swapped kick or due to swapping, will my formation pressure change? No, formation pressure will not change because of swapping effect. The kick occurred into the well bore because of the drop in BHP, not because of increase in formation pressure. Okay, so uh, let's say after getting a swap kick, applied BHP downwards is 5,000 650 psi so will i get a positive flow check no so after getting a swap kick still the hydrostatic pressure is more than formation pressure so the result of flow check will be negative but when i run back so the same height of swap kick which was before running in was 100 feet now it will become 500 feet because the swapped influx is in the annulus volume that is between bha and the well bore so the annulus volume will decrease so causing increase in height so height will increase so this is the first time that you might see a kick but let's say let's say the applied hydrostatic pressure downside let's say it is five six one zero still you won't see any kick the flow check result will be negative but when I, when you start circulating, so it is obvious that uh, after a round trip, we have to go to bottom tag bottom and then we have to bottoms up first. So during that waiting time or during that pull out time, there was a swap kick. And when you circulate and when the swap kick comes to surface, and if this influx is a gas, so what will happen? Gas will expand. And when gas expands, causing reduction in BHP, BHP reduce more. And ultimately, there will be a kick. And when you shut down, let's say when you shut down, will there be any change in hydrostatic pressure in drill pipe? There is no change in hydrostatic pressure of drill pipe because the mud which is present in drill string is equal to the original mud weight. So there will be a pressure in annulus, but there won't be any pressure in drill pipe. So as a result, whenever we have a swap kick, what is the well control procedure? We have to follow driller method first cycle. We need to strip back or run back to bottom. Then need to circulate out the influx. That's all. We don't want kill mud weight in this case. My drilling mud is the kill mud. So same way, because the formation pressure is not changing, so I don't need to increase my hydrostatic head. So when I remove this influx, so when I remove this influx, what will happen? The original hydrostatic pressure will be 5700. So the answer will be same drilling mud. There is no need of kill mud. And there is a tip for this. Whenever, whenever drill pipe pressure is zero and you see round trip, wiper trip or clear trip or check trip, then you have to select the same mud weight. 